What's going on guys? It's Black Widow Supra and today is a really annoying day. Alright, so what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at Oh shit. That feed line down there, way down in there, is leaking. And it's causing all this to leak as well. So what am I doing? I'm pulling off the turbo. Yep, that's right. I have to pull the turbo off the widow because I took her out for some spins and she leaked a lot of oil. That's actually oil and water, which is not good. So we're going to pull off those lines, redo all these lines because they've been leaking pretty badly lately, actually. So that's what I'm doing today. You guys get to do it with me. I hope you enjoy watching a YouTuber actually work on his own car. That just happened. End of story. Moving on. The next day. Okay, so it's officially now day two at night and I got it off oh yeah I did okay so I got off the top the front base of the turbo took off all the lines I don't know if you can see down there but down there all the lines are done ski they're completely taken apart everything's off it's in the bag it's over there we're not gonna show you that but yeah it's uh it's official um let's see if I can turn the light on in here so you can see but the turb ski is taken apart and yeah, you know, uh, we got all of our lines and crap in this bag. Um, gonna go get new lines, new gaskets, new seals, new everything, put it together so the car doesn't leak any more oil. But I wanted to show you guys something. Watch this. Look how freely that spins and look. No shaft play whatsoever, no in out play. You know, up, down, just in good overall condition, which I'm very, very pleased to announce. So down there, I don't know if you can see that, but that's been leaking like a frick ton. So gonna go ahead and replace those lines. Um, just doing little updates here and there on the car because it definitely needs it. So ah! the next day. Okay, so it's been a very, very stressful day. Um, update now. Moving on to the next part. I know. Uh, I'm jumping around missing a lot of things, but got the and fitting got all the stuff hooked up I had to put this together. It was a nightmare But it's on there. So it's good got a new oil feed and oil return because the old ones were Kind of crusted and falling apart just to give you an idea of how bad things really were. That's my old one Okay, and Hold on. Let me get this Side-by-side -side comparison. Those are identical, by the way. Those are the same exact parts. That's how bad it got. So, yeah, time for a change. Um, so we have that. Let's go out here and we'll go look at the Supra real quick. Even though the lighting's probably gonna be horrible, but the uh, lighting's not too bad. So, we're gonna look at the Supra right now. So we currently have the turbo off. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but down in here, we have everything all nice and cleaned up. No more gunk. Everything's all nice and clean and we're all polishing and looking near, right? Uh, there is no shaft plate on our turbo, which is great. Uh, our turbo is actually in really good condition. I decided since the turbo was off and you know, we're changing things up, why not make it a little different? So I painted the hot side of, uh, sorry, the cold side of the turbo. I painted it black. So I hope you guys like that. I figured it'd be, a nice little addition, make it look nice and clean a little bit. So we're in the process of letting that dry. Um, did a lot of brake cleaner and a lot of chemicals in here to get all this down here all nice and clean and all spiffed and spaffed. And now we'll see where she's leaking from so we can fix all the leaks. So no more leaks, no more leaks. That's the goal. Um, that being said, guys, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to reinstall the turbo and all the lines and start it up and We'll go for a drive and you'll get the end of this vlog. But uh, yeah, so this has been a multi-day process. Uh, just kind of sourcing parts, figuring out what need to go where and you know, all that jazz. So um, stay tuned and yeah. And tomorrow you guys are here. All right guys, so 
Amber and I decided why not while we're it's stuck in quarantine fix our shitty carpet situation. Baby, turn it off for a sec. So we're gonna fix our shitty carpet situation. You guys see how blotchy and nasty the carpet is? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rip this carpet out of this car. What are we gonna do, babe? We're gonna repaint it. Are we gonna paint it? We're gonna spray paint it. We're gonna spray paint the carpet in a Supra. Yes. That's gonna happen. We're gonna actually spray paint it. So I've been looking at carpet for this car for a while and it's about $900 uh, for good quality OEM black carpet. And it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to find. So. A buddy of mine messaged me, he was like, dude, you know, I know you want to redo the carpet. Um, I, I know a really good way to do that. So he told me to go check out this Duplicolor vinyl fabric spray paint, okay? Um, I do not advise using this until I've actually tried it, but uh, all of the results and all of the videos I've, I've researched on, on YouTube, everyone says it's great quality product. Um, uh, you know, I'm saving it cost me a whole 14 bucks for three cans. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save a few dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and we're gonna see how it comes out. You guys get to come along. Also, I wanna show you guys an update on the engine. I know we've been talking about doing a lot of stuff to this car. Um, currently, the turbo is back in. I have to take it back off because we had some leakage down there from the bottom return line, but we replaced the new lines all the way through and through. So we have the feed and the return line replaced. I went ahead and I painted the turbo black. You know, I just figured it's the Black Widow. Why not make it a little bit more black? So that's what we're doing. We're, uh, we're having some fun. Babe, we're having fun? Yeah. You're about as enthusiastic yes. as a sloth. Yes. Yes? Yes, like, oh my God. Yes. Like, oh my God, Shirley. It's so much fun. Okay, bye. Okay, so quick update. We've got the carpet out. Everything's all backed up. I'm fixing some wires down here for the EMU and all that jazz, the ECU masters. Got the seats out, got everything out. And we're over here. We're already on one coat of paint. One, almost one coat. And this is how great it is. I mean, this stuff is, does it feel like carpet, babe? Does it feel crunchy? No, you just have to brush it enough. Okay, so we gotta keep brushing. But she's brushing and I'm painting and I mean, you guys can see. That's coat two. That's one coat. So just, and it turns out that my carpet was actually tan carpet. See, I had tan carpet in the Supra that someone actually painted black originally. So, you know, it's looking good. I'm hoping everything comes out. So it's official, we're on to coat two. And you guys can see this stuff is actually really working. I mean, it's really, really working. It's looking great. How does it feel, babe? Good, after you brush it. Feel this texture. Oh my God, it feels like carpet. It's not crusty or anything. It feels, actually feels pretty good. I might take a nap in that. What do you think, babe? Sure, you go ahead. Yeah, I'm take a nap. Get all the chemicals. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oh my God, wow. Look at the difference, oh my God. It came out phenomenal. The carpet looks so much better. I mean, there's a few streaks here that I gotta work through. Like right here, you can see, but I mean, wow guys, wow. Look at that panel. Oh my God, look at that, that vinyl panel. Oh my God, it looks brand new, wow, this is, this is a definite must. I recommend this to anybody who's on a budget and wants their carpet to look absolutely phenomenal. This just came out so much better than I thought it would. I'm, I'm fully happy. I'm extremely happy with this. I can't wait to get it in the Supra and get the seats back down and see how it all looks together. Oh, wow, wow guys. Not sure if the camera's doing it justice, but oh my God, it looks a thousand and one times better. That's just light coming in from my garage, but oh my God. This is, for a cheap way to do it, guys, I mean, it really did come out good. Super, super happy with this product. All right, all that was leaking, and we fixed it! Yay! The Supra's fixed, yay! We're gonna take it for a drive and see if everything we fixed is good, but, uh, I mean, she's looking. Oh, so good. Then uh, 
that new carpet, with that new new. Oh my god, she looks so good. About to take her out to Starbucks and go get some coffee. Doing some social distancing, so uh, stay tuned. Yeah, boy. There, I'll pop this hood up real quick so y'all can see. We'll pop this hood up real quick. Oh my god, look at that engine bay. Everything's all nice and clean. So oil leakage. Oh, he's so beautiful. Oh, so clean. Woo! All right. Why are you scratching? Why are you such a dork? Who's a bumper bumpers? Who's a bumper bumpers? All right, guys, just like that, this vlog is done. That's right, we just finished up, guys. I will let you know that I did take the super out tonight, and I did film, and we did do some polls. And you guys are going to get that in the next vlog. All you have to do to see that is hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that notification bell, because you don't want to miss this poll in the freeway. We got her up. Oh, my God, in Mexico. We got it up to some serious speed. That being said, guys, I'm Black Widow Supra. Thank you so much for liking my content. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. Guys, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, thing that's up there in the corner. Guys, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. I will see you later. Peace out. Love you all. Fuck off. All right, Peter, my name is Turbo. This is...